dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine if you are a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so much for your support thank you so much for the love that you have been showing me but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on the notification bell and when i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please don't forget to subscribe i repeat thank you so much so dear friends if you have been following me recently you know how i have been complaining a lot <laughs> on ladies coming to me excited, sharing good news. I found the right guy online. He has been so sweet. He's coming to visit me and we are planning to go see my parents. Then they come back, tell you, yes, we visited my parents. All was good, good. We enjoyed the goodies. <laughs> then after some time maybe six months a year some even dead up to two years they come to me crying but while crying it's not that they tell you oh bella i saw this red flag in this guy oh my god i regret not to see that red flag no <laughs> they come crying complaining that they are the problem even recently there is a lady who approached me she had shared her success love story with me. If you remember, those of you who follow me very, very closely on all my social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. Yeah, last year, there is a story I posted of a Kenyan lady, a single mother who had received $2,000 from a German guy and oh my god we're all happy it's a lot of money oh some guys can really spoil <laughs> yeah so that lady guys the truth is things did not work out she was not my baby I mean my client that I knew the story deeply no was my follower watched my videos and searched for love eventually found that German guy but unfortunately came back this year telling me Bella it did not work out but it's not that she was like Bella I saw one two three red flags no actually this lady was kind blaming herself and requested me maybe to reach out to that guy that they can reconcile but I asked that lady questions deep deep questions and as she tried to tell me the story in details Oh my god that wasn't a quality guy i want to go so deep to tell you this story but i know after talking to her if she accepts then i'll bring the story here to share it with you so not only this lady but it has been happening even to other ladies some haven't met yet like you my babies you come to me oh my god bella i found this guy you get excited and i'm like calm down don't attach yourself <laughs> some of you that we have been talking you know and eventually you come to find out that mm, the guy wasn't a quality guy so guys i am here today to share with you the signs that will tell you the guy is good the guy is a quality guy and not only good is interested in you is ready to build a serious relationship with you so like i have been doing it i am going to be guiding you step by step from the time you find him online so let's get into it so dear friends number one that will tell you that the guy is a good guy and is interested in you is a quality guy wants to build a serious relationship with you we take an example you are on the dating apps and sites searching for true love then you start chatting with a guy maybe it's him that approached you first or it's you that approached him first because i have been advising you give it a try to approach these guys but attention guys when you approach a guy online and he doesn't respond to your message yes he has seen it but decides to keep quiet stop taking it on yourself 
please please and start being like maybe i am ugly and start being like how comes this message was suggested by bella to write it this way then why is that the guy ignored me completely <laughs> so the thing is not every guy will like you on the dating apps but i repeat it's not that you are ugly or something is wrong with you this is how the reality of life is even in real life not every guy will like you same as you not every guy on the dating apps and sites you will like him <laughs> some you come across their photos and ah no <laughs> He is ugly. You remember I told you a story. I was chatting with a guy. Everything was good. But when I came to see him, <laughs> in the photos, actually, guys, I did not like him at all. I didn't feel that connection. Though, for me, physical appearance wasn't a big deal. But the connection wasn't there at all. <laughs> yeah. So I decided to block that guy. <laughs> I know he was hurt very, very much. So <laughs> when you're on the apps, be ready to hurt others and to be hurt. That's how things are. But don't take it on yourself and be like, ah, everything I do doesn't work. <laughs> no, you haven't come across a guy that really likes you. So let's go back at it now you are chatting with this guy everything is going very very well and i advised you again <laughs> that if all is flowing then you guys should move out of that dating app or site so you bring the idea that i really enjoy how everything has been flowing between us in the conversation how do you see we move out of this app and i prefer we should chat on WhatsApp. So if this guy is really a good guy, he won't start bringing excuses that, or I can't move on WhatsApp. I've been scammed on WhatsApp. I don't trust it. Let's chat on Skype. <laughs> or he won't start telling you, no, I think we should chat only on Skype. When you ask him why, he doesn't want to give you even the good, good reasons to why you should accept chat with him on skype yeah he will stick on telling you let's chat on skype or let's chat on telegram or let's chat on viber but when you say whatsapp no <laughs> it's a big big no he's not open to that you know the guy is not a quality guy but with a quality guy even if he didn't have whatsapp he will tell you, okay, right now I have Skype, but I promise you, maybe after two days or three days, I will join you on WhatsApp. And yes, in those three days that he said he's going to join you on WhatsApp, he will join you on WhatsApp. When you see that, just know it is a sign of a quality guy. When it comes to communication, which mode of communication you should use, there is no excuses, there is no any, you know, complications or problems like making it a very big deal, insisting that you should use the mode of communication that is only comfortable with him and not comfortable with you. Yeah. So I am telling you this due to the experience that I have me guiding single ladies single guys on the dating sites and even from the love stories i've been sharing with you you have heard stories whereby ladies tell you that the guy did not have whatsapp at all but due to that he was very very interested in that lady and the lady said i only have whatsapp i'm comfortable communicating on whatsapp he went ahead and downloaded whatsapp some even went ahead and bought phones that supports whatsapp so that they can keep the communication with the lady that's the guy that is so much interested in you and wants to build a serious relationship with you <laughs> some of you are like oh my god do these men exist yes they still exist you just need to keep on praying and be patient for your turn to come so dear friends sign number two now you have gone 
to WhatsApp. And here I imagine maybe it's you that asked him to go on WhatsApp or it's him that asked you for your WhatsApp numbers. Yeah, because everything was flowing. Your conversation was really going so, so good. There was no any quiet moment between you. So if you're chatting to a quality guy, tick number one, he accepted WhatsApp. But tick number two, when you go to WhatsApp, you will see this guy keeping on chatting with you. You will see him keeping on asking you questions, wanting to know you very, very well. You will see this guy asking for a video call so that he can see you finally <laughs> to confirm on his side if you are the same person he has been chatting to, the photos that he saw on the dating app, and also for you to confirm if he's really the same same guy when you see that he is a quality guy but when we talk of a guy who is not a quality guy <laughs> you will exchange whatsapp numbers maybe it's him who asked or it's you who asked always flowing on the app but when you go to whatsapp I know you guys have been experiencing this a lot. It's like you are chatting to a different guy. He changes completely. The conversation no longer flows. It's now you who is asking this guy questions. It's you who is asking for a video call and he starts giving you lots of excuses why he can't do that video call. <laughs> Then he will move and start sending you good morning message and good night message without any content. Like I said in my previous video, when you see that dear sister, he is not a quality guy because if he was the same guy, very, very interested in you, why come to WhatsApp and then start acting weird? <laughs> Because I told you, WhatsApp is so, so real. Yeah, you can get to confirm lots of things that he told you about his life. So if he's not a quality guy, he will start giving you lots of excuses because the situation will be very difficult for him. And in most cases, if you keep on entertaining, eventually he is going to ghost you or he will block you. <laughs> And you start crying, oh my God, the guy was good, all was flowing, what happened? We start blaming the village people. <laughs> it's not the village people, that guy wasn't a quality guy. With a quality guy, everything will flow, everything will remain the same and even maybe will get more better because you have seen each other. <laughs> on a video call on whatsapp so guys sign number three that will tell you you are chatting to a quality guy a guy who is really interested in you let me tell you something guys when it comes to a quality guy before they go to online dating apps and sites they know what they are searching for they know how their life is they know how far they can push themselves to find that right woman. So sometimes, guys, you find yourself, you are on these dating sites and apps, and maybe you are a single mother of one, two, three, four, five. Then you get a message from a guy, you start chatting, all is going well, and then you tell this guy, remember, I am a single mother. It was even on my bio. Then all of a sudden, the guy changes and blocks you. <laughs> At that time, you start blaming yourself. Oh my God, will I ever find a man who will accept me? I am a single mother. You see, even this guy, he was a very, very good guy, a very cute guy. I really liked him, but he blocked me after hearing I am a single mother. That guy wasn't a quality guy. Dear sister, hear it from me. I have enough experience with these people. A serious guy will read your bio very well. And if he sees you have kids, he went ahead and sent you a message. It means he knows what he is about to put himself into. It won't be a surprise at all, at all. 
once you chat and you tell him i am a single mother he will tell you no problem i know that <laughs> i went through your bio and with me you being a single mother it's not a big deal i am searching for true love that's it he will keep on chatting with you guys let's not let losers break our hearts and discourage us from moving forward it doesn't matter the number of the kids you have with a right guy a guy who is searching for true love it won't be a problem and he will date you and attention guys here i don't mean that Every guy that says no to date a single mother is not a good guy, is a loser, not at all. I told you before they go to these dating sites, if he is a serious guy, he knows what he is searching for. So if he is a quality guy, will never ever get back to you when you send him the message. Yeah, and you are a single mother don't take it on him it is his choice not to date a single mother remember not everyone will like you just like some ladies be like i can't date a divorced guy i can't date a guy maybe in his 50s i am in my 30s no way to date a guy who is in his 50s i have clients who told me clearly bella i don't want to date a guy who has kids at all at all same as guys exist guys too who be like no way i can't date a lady with kids but that doesn't make him a bad guy at all at all he knows his lifestyle he knows how far he can push himself to get that right woman that is why quality guys like those who don't want to date single mothers they'll never send you messages at all at all so you won't get a message from them and even if you send them a message they will not respond to you i'm telling you all this to help you out i've been seeing how you always complain i'm a single mother they don't respond to me oh my god this guy was very very cute yes he is cute but maybe not interested in a single mother move forward find a guy that will accept you with your kids and those guys still exist i repeat we have seen so many stories here on my youtube channel of guys that have been marrying single mothers soon i'm coming with a success love story of a single mother from zambia yeah. <laughs> so this is to encourage you all let's keep on moving forward let's focus let's not think that us being single mothers is the reason to why we are not succeeding on the dating apps and sites now to sign number four that will tell you you are chatting to a quality guy that wants to build a serious relationship so dear friends number four location and here guys we all have to be realistic so with a serious guy where you come from will never be a problem but attention i'm not talking of forced locations <laughs> yeah we will go to that you guys that always changes your locations <laughs> yeah <laughs> you are from nigeria and you put your location italy or poland or switzerland yeah <laughs> we will go to that here i'm talking about a white guy that that goes to a dating app or a dating site that is international then sends you a message you start chatting and all of a sudden distance is the problem <laughs> that guy isn't serious that guy isn't a quality guy because with a quality guy it will never be a problem at all at all because he knows he knew already before even going to those international dating app and sites that I might come across a lady who is very very far away from me and i know my plan is this in case if i come across this lady who is very very far away from me and i really like her i see everything that i ever wanted in a woman she has all those then i know how to move yeah i told you they know how far they can push themselves 
This takes us to the question that I told you. You should also get to ask this. If he is okay dating someone who is very, very far away from him. Because some pretend and be like, I can do an adventure. <laughs> Take a loan, go to Africa, see this lady, enjoy the goodies, and then come back to my country. End of the love story. He is not capable of keeping on that long distance relationship and eventually you guys be together so you should ask this in the early stages of you communicating before you waste your time so with a quality guy when you ask him that question if it is okay to date someone who is very far away from him he will tell you it's not a problem and in most cases he will be the first one to ask you that is it okay for you to date someone who is very far can you move from your country and relocate to my country is it something that you can do because he knows in future if all goes well between you you will come and stay with him in his country so expect such kind of a conversation with a quality guy but guys for you who always changes your location you should accept the rejection. I've seen most of you going into a depression just because guys are not responding to you after you changed the location. Most complain you are very far, they thought you were near. But to be honest, this doesn't make that guy a bad guy because it's you who changed the location. He did not see you with your original location, maybe in Uganda, and wrote to you. No. It's you who changed your location and put America. So he wrote maybe thinking you are in America. I told you they know how far they can push themselves. So some guys, due to their situations, they be like, no, I can't date a lady who is very far. Some are like, I can't handle a long distance relationship. That is why they keep searching near. So you who has changed the location, accept it all be like i am trying my luck if i get rejections it's okay but if i am lucky it was destiny that i'm going to change my location and the guy will accept me the same then it's gonna happen i've seen lots of ladies changing the location and eventually finds love these guys accept them and soon i'll be bringing a success story that went that way a lady changed her location is from tanzania but had to put is in hungary a guy approached her and they chatted then she told the guy you know what i am not in budapest I am in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. But the guy was like, it's okay. I like you very, very much. It doesn't matter. You are very far away from him. I see something special in you. I still want to get to know you more. I still want to build this relationship. And guess what? This Hungarian guy will be in Tanzania November this year so it was destiny i am telling you yes change the location because sometimes when you stay in your location you don't see white guys but go with an open mind don't go there as if when you change your location it's a must these guys should respond to you it's a must these guys should be like yes i wanna date you no <laughs> expect you're very far oh my god why did you change your location expect you are a scammer also expect guys who be like okay no problem i understand your reasons to change your location yes let's get into it let's get to know each other <laughs> yeah but dear beautiful ladies on the other side a guy that chats with you gives you lots of compliments and shows that if you're in his country, maybe it could have worked out. Actually, you have everything that he was searching for in a woman. The problem is the distance. That guy is a liar. Yeah. <laughs> the reason he's telling you the distance is the problem, it's because, number one, either he is not interested in you, number two, that guy is a player. Because before chatting with me, 
you saw my profile, you saw where I come from, why did you chat with me? You know? <laughs> yeah, so stop telling me I'm beautiful, blah, blah, blah. The problem is my location. And you two guys, stop taking it on yourselves that I wish I was in Europe. I wish I was in this location. This guy could have dated me. Not true at all, at all, because the guy is not a quality guy. Let me hope on the location you understand. This takes me to a recent photo I posted of a white guy who is from Albania, lives here in Italy. Yeah, most ladies approached me on Instagram. They were like, Bella, that guy is not serious. He actually chatted with me, but he seemed like someone who is not serious. Some were even calling him a scammer, judging him. But to tell you the truth, I chatted with that guy. I asked him questions and he was very honest with me, told me, Bella, yes, I've chatted with lots, lots of ladies. Most are in Africa. And when I came to see the reality of things, the visa is the problem. Yeah, that's my biggest, biggest challenge that made me to look for ladies who are only in Europe. So when he told me that, I was like, no, it is very possible to get the visa. Look, <laughs> I am here because my husband went through the visa process. It's not that he met me here in Italy. So yes, it can be complicated to get the visa, but it is not something that is impossible. That is when he was like, oh, really? So let's first start with Europe. If I don't find any lady in Europe, then we can go to Africa under your guidance. I know all will go well. Okay. You who are saying the guy is not serious. The guy is maybe a scammer. <laughs> Another thing, me chatting with him, I came to find out the guy isn't good in English. He's not also good in Italian. So when you're chatting with such kind of a guy, you just need to be patient. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've been singing to you that get to understand a guy you are chatting to because without understanding a guy, you will never build any serious relationship. Either you will think he's not serious and in real sense, he is serious. It's only that there is that language barrier. Take your time. I repeat, to understand the guy. Another thing I want to insist on here is to make sure once you are chatting with a guy online to make him understand the challenges that you can come across as a couple in a long distance relationship. These are challenges, okay? <laughs> Just get to see or to observe his reaction. When you tell him, you know, the visa process, some of you be like, we don't even know the visa process, how it can be. Go and research, you know, maybe the documents needed. Test him, like if I'm to come to you, one, two, three, four is needed. What do you think? Can we go through this? When you see him like, ah, no, this is too complicated. I'll never go through that. <laughs> Girl, He's not a quality guy, but if you tell him that, he's like, yeah, no problem. No matter what, we are going to go through that. You got yourself a quality guy. So guys, number five, sign number five that will tell you you are chatting to a quality guy, a guy that wants to build a serious relationship with you on the dating apps and sites. So here I imagine you found each other, like you've been going step by step, exchanged WhatsApp numbers, you have been talking, everything is flowing, the guy tells you the distance is not a problem, your location is not a problem, I accept it all because I want true love. I see you are such a special woman, I want to be with you. So here comes the meeting topic. So if you're chatting to a quality guy and then you ask him, 
what is his next plan of course we expect him to tell you my next plan because everything has been going really good between us i like you i really want to get to know you more i think i will come to visit you so that i can meet you and when you tell him it can be vice versa can be the one to first come to you if you invite me then he will tell you yes no problem we can do that I can invite you. When you hear that, you have found yourself a quality guy. But he shouldn't just say it and it ends there. You'll be like, yes, Bella, he passed the test. He said he can invite me, so let's keep on talking. No, <laughs> actually, go deep into it. Let's see if he will put actions into it. If he puts actions into it, then he is a good guy. So with you who are scared to go visit a guy at first in his country, I told you, you can just test him. And when you see he's really doing the process, you can stop him, tell him, be the one to come. So if he is a quality guy and told you that his next plan is to come to you, you can ask him, when do you think that can happen? That is when this guy will give you the month that i'm thinking maybe next year around june i can come that's a guy with good intentions <laughs> they don't just say okay we will see yes i plan to come but we will see don't believe that and chat with a guy within three months you should know when are you meeting the month the date and the year this is so important because if you're chatting with a guy now, he's telling you he's coming next year. <laughs> there is trouble. That relationship might not make it to that time that he told you. That is why it's important. Three months. Yeah, you should know. Because guys, those three months, it's not all that long. And from the time he tells you, you start counting till... The time he told you he was coming you keep observing him if he's someone that is really preparing himself to come to meet you if you don't see that you know mm, this one just said it but there were no actions meaning he is not a quality guy you block him and move forward so here we take an example you talked of meeting and he was like i am inviting you to my country or he came to visit you first now he is inviting you to his country a quality guy will not abandon you to work on the visa process alone he will be there with you step by step whatever challenge you're going to be facing he will face it with you yeah you see him giving you solutions. You see him telling you don't give up. You know, he will be by your side. That's how a quality guy will do it. But if you see, you have been dating a guy, he came to see you, he invited you in his country, you apply for the visa, then he doesn't want even to send you the documents, or he sends you the documents, some documents are missing, he starts telling you he can't send more documents. No, like he's creating more problems, just know the guy does not even intend to invite you. Maybe you insisted a lot, that is why he had to put that little effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you apply for the visa and then the guy has it with you. That, you know, like, it's your fault and I don't want to do this again. Girl, it's not a quality guy. A quality guy, I repeat, will be there with you. No matter how many times you will be denied. You get a denial, he'll put an effort to find a solution. Like, recently, there is a story I posted on my Instagram stories of a Nigerian lady that I have been guiding before even finding love, then eventually found love, got married. After getting married, started the visa process. So when started the visa process, I wasn't guiding her into that, got denied. After being denied, 
then came to me. I told her, girl, you have to pay the fee so that we can work into this. So I guided her step by step on what is needed to be done because they had wanted to appeal. So had to reapply again. I'm telling you the husband was there for her, could send her all documents needed. If there is a document missing, he could stop everything and works on that document, make sure he sends it to her. If money was needed to do something, he was sending the money. Yeah, he was very, very available for his wife. So after applying for the second time, sadly, it was another denial because her situation was kind of complicated. I can't say everything here, but when I share her love story, guys, you will get to know everything to the reason why she was even denied this second visa. So after that denial, oh my God, they were very, very sad, cried together. I'm telling you, the husband kept on encouraging her and told her, don't worry, no matter what, we will be together. Guys, I saw the messages. It's not that I'm trying to guess things. No, <laughs> I was guiding this lady step by step. I knew everything that was going on. So after the second denial, I suggested due to the situation, cause at that time I had understood very well how her situation is. <laughs> she tried to talk to other people. They were telling her, oh, you can appeal, do this, take a lawyer. I told her, girl, no, I think you should reapply again, but before reapplying, let your husband come, go to the embassy and talk to these people. Yeah, they should see him. Then after talking to the embassy people, we will decide whether to reapply or appeal. But what I'm sure of is no matter what, you are going to get that visa because you're not a criminal girl. You are not. You deserve to reunite with your husband but guys why am i telling you all this story it's because i saw how that guy is a quality guy that lady has got a very good good husband yeah because whatever suggestion she had could tell him he could be like it's okay i accept let's do it let's try it but with a loser, ha, he was going to abandon her. You remember a Ugandan lady who used to apply for the visa to go and reunite with the husband and was rejected. Then the guy used it as the reason to divorce her. Never wanted to go through any, any stress of the visa process. That guy was not a quality guy but this one was really a quality guy because eventually went to nigeria and went to the embassy they talked eventually accepted to reapply for the visa they reapplied and as i'm talking right now got her visa soon will be going to poland with her husband <laughs> yeah <sighs> love is beautiful especially when someone fights for your love sign number six that will tell you you are chatting to a quality guy online is when everything is going well you went to whatsapp you started talking all is flowing this guy is not making sex talks as the topic of every single day <laughs> yeah <laughs> because a guy who is not a quality guy when you go to whatsapp and maybe you are to do a video call at the moment you open the camera they'll start telling you stand up turn around <laughs> when you hear that even if that day he made you stand up you turned around <laughs> he never asked for any nude pictures or to see you naked just know that you are on the right road to be asked for that <laughs> Yeah, there is a lady I recently advised and I predicted the guy was to ask for nude pictures to see her on a video naked and it happened. She came back, was like, Bella, thank you so much. At the time you were telling me that the guy will ask me for nude pictures, 
I wasn't believing it at all, at all, because this guy came to me as a Christian guy and all that. <laughs> so it was a shock to me and I said, what? Yeah, this lady really knows what she is doing. <laughs> Yeah, so when a guy tells you, stand up, I want to see you, you know, around how tall you are and everything, just know he's not a quality guy. When you end that video, block him. Yeah, <laughs> don't wait for another video call because another video call will be a horror one, will be a horrible experience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a noisy place, but I hope uh, you can hear me. Uh, I did this just to... Uh ask you if possible you can uh, send it to abella just to appreciate her so much you remember the american guy story the one i told you to uh, kindly uh, inquire for me what's her take on it and guess what whatever she said was right because this guy was um talking well at first he said he was a christian we spoke we could sing together pray together read bible together but he never said about coming to see me and he ended up requesting for me to get a tattoo so <laughs> long story short when you forwarded to bella the, the the things we were talking and bella said like with a lot of uh, red flags in this guy because he's not someone who is going to come he's just looking for online fantasy and uh, maybe at some point he'll request for online sex which at first maybe to me it was going to be difficult to believe that it could happen so because of how this guy was talking now uh <laughs> This guy we spoke good, good, good. It got to a point he would request a video call, tell me to stand up. He wants to see my full body. I could stand up, not naked, naked though. So I could stand up. Uh, he could see me, and he started saying beautiful uh, words like, "Oh, you're so cute. You have a nice figure, and what have you, and what have you." So ah uh, yeah, and I appreciated. So things transcended slowly from the beautiful comments about my body to a point so this night this guy texts me and tells me um he feels like he gets naughty speaking to me and he can't resist the reaction he gets so um <laughs> i was surprised to hear this from him because considering the things we've been speaking with him and now it gets to this point yeah anyway fast forward it got to a point he could tell me um today he wants to see my body now naked because he can't resist and he's al he has already told me to be his girlfriend so i should just show him everything and not hide yeah so which i didn't do it and then um slowly he also said uh, there's this text he sent me saying like I, what what had i told him i told him my wi-fi had went out like i didn't have data for that uh so that we could talk and he asked he ended up asking me like what is um what am i going to get in return yeah so <laughs> that's why he, he wanted us to have like sex before he could pay for my wi-fi yeah and mind you this guy could send money before but not uh not request anything in return but now he gets to a point he needs something in return and he was frank he even sent me a pic of him he was uh, naked it really hurt me <laughs> and i ended up like blocking him we no longer talk but i just uh did this voice not to say thanks to bella so much at least i saw the red flags in the end and decided to just uh, block him so bella usually say something so take it as a joke personally for me i wasn't going to believe like this guy was going to behave like this i was so surprised because how can someone tell you they're christian whatever whatever now it gets to the end they uh they want to uh request you a uh, fishy thing so i want to say thank you so much to bella because hey that lady speaks so much truth and thank you thank you so much bella for helping me out i appreciate a lot and may god keep you may god bless you 
we still need you to be there for us and yeah may god also bless your family thank you and have a blessed day yeah so when you're chatting with a guy and then maybe he did not tell you stand up but he starts immediately to talk of sex well, it's a very very bad bad sign i've been saying this don't entertain sex talks don't send your nude pictures to these guys don't do online videos you know sex videos but some be like no bella you know <laughs> The guy is good. He loves me. He takes care of me. I am very sure of him. <laughs> this happened to one lady. She came to tell me her success story and told me that, you know, yeah, was showing her nude body to the guy. I told her that's very, very wrong. If it went good for you, I don't know. But to me, it is not something I can advise my ladies to do. She was like, no, I did that after knowing the guy was the one i was like okay no problem <laughs> yeah but at the same time she was like what can i do now you know he has seen me and what really was a red flag to me that guy had cameras inside his house so while they could do those same videos the guy was recording everything when i asked the lady why does he has cameras in the house I was like it's for security i'm like ah girl but she kept on defending the guy i really really appreciate your honesty because not everyone actually will uh, will tell you will be true to you and be like yes i showed him my body <laughs> no others will just hide and you know yeah hide things uh but i'm glad that you you're honest enough and brave enough to say it out loud uh like that though as an online dating coach i must tell you you took a very huge risk because oh my god this is something i've been discouraging ladies not to do like don't because these online guys they're so very very hard to be trusted maybe until it, this guy like marries you then at least there you are at peace and like oh yes this guy has married me i'm the wife but still i, I don't i don't see the reason why someone would be wanting to do like um maybe asking nude photos because most ask for nude photos but these online dating videos are also dangerous because some people will tell you let's do online romance and then they record you i know ladies that were recorded and now they even found love but the records that they did the guys are like threatening them i'm going to release them to the whole world to see you so it's so traumatizing and that's why i've been telling ladies no 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 don't let him leave you if he is to leave but don't 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 but in your case um i can say maybe god was on your side and he stood by you <laughs> it worked out for you though it's still it's not something i would advise a lady to do really even if you're like a hundred percent in love with a guy no it's a no 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 and uh some guys even um they have these weird kind of fantasies so he starts asking like that for online romance and then when you like when they marry you they start wanting you to watch together these dirty stuffs and do online videos with strangers so it's really really dangerous like really dangerous yeah i can say you as it is maybe 0 0.99 not even one percent that these stories succeed when it starts with uh with uh with sex talks and uh, online uh, online romance yeah oh, oh it was kind of wow <laughs> what <laughs> actually it is the first uh, story of uh of a lady like doing like that and succeed most really cry like they cry cry badly <laughs> so uh 
it's something to keep like advising ladies not to do really it's it's, it's very risky out there predators are ready you know to to make you fall into their traps but anyways your story is a unique one but if he be like now i want to see your body and that you have to create any excuse of not doing so and uh let him know you're not comfortable like uh to do that after all eventually you're going to go to germany and he will see you but if it is only to talk it's okay you guys can just talk but seeing body no 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 not at all at all at all at all even if he paid your bride price you have to wait until you get married and when you get married nothing like that will even happen about uh telling you i want to see your body because you'll be there he will see it yes guess what some months passed and God brought a very big challenge. This girl started being sick. The doctors discovered she had tuberculosis. So after that sickness being discovered and I had talked to the lady to stop doing those online sessions, if really the guy will keep on giving her the attention, she stopped. So after stopping to show him, her nude body, this guy got really furious, wasn't okay with it. So when this lady got discovered with that sickness, had to tell him and some money was needed, you know, to buy the medicines. That is when this guy could call her on a video call with bunches and bunches of euros showing her, but telling her, I can't send you any money because she stopped showing the goodies so you tell me is this guy a quality guy hell no he is not a quality guy because a quality guy will never abandon you when you are sick we know how life sometimes can be you can find each other all healthy but maybe in the process of you dating or maybe getting married he gets sick or you get sick if he's not a quality guy, he's going to run away from you. Just like how that guy behaved, okay? Abandoned her completely with her sickness, never wanted to send her money, and eventually ended the relationship. He's the guy that engaged this lady. Imagine, guys. Imagine. So, stop doing these online videos. When a guy asks for that, he will never be a serious guy especially those that makes it a topic of the day at the same time i know when you chat with someone i told you you're not a brother and a sister you talk about it somehow but it shouldn't be a topic of every single day i repeat let's learn to differentiate things so guys another sign that will tell you you are chatting to a quality guy who wants to build a serious relationship with you now i'm talking of this category guys who have separated from their wives or guys that are divorced but now i'm going to start with a guy who has separated from the wife and is going through the divorce process so if he is a quality guy trust me guys this guy will be updating you on everything if they separated he will go to an extent of showing you the separation document i told you here when you separate of course it has to be documented if there is any divorce process he will show you the documents without hiding anything and if it's true this guy told you he is separated lives alone when you ask for a video call at any time of the day he will accept he won't tell you wait i'll be the one to call you or when you call him by a surprise on a video call won't pick will give you excuses like i was busy playing with a baby you know this weekend is my turn that is why i couldn't pick no they are going to pick that video call and talk to you because they have nothing to hide from you and even on the divorce process, I told you he will show you the documents, the evidence and everything. When you ask him 
when do you think you can get that divorce he will know how long it will take but i'm advising you to avoid guys that are telling you their divorce will take a year it will take two years or three years try to understand a guy that tells you maybe within three months he will get his divorce because within those three months you use that time to build your relationship while waiting for his divorce when that time comes and he brings excuses girl run i'm saying this because i know in the sites and apps exist lots lots of guys that are separated and sometimes you'll be like he seems to be a good guy he's so cute i like him but he tells me he is separated should i block him no you shouldn't block him but make sure that guy is really sincere with you if he is open with you believe him and just know that you have found yourself a good guy these things have been happening yes i've seen guys telling ladies i'll get my divorce in four months and yes when four months comes they send the divorce paper this is it this is my divorce go through it i'm going to even translate it for you so that you can see it's true yeah i have my own divorce so with divorced guys number one he should show you the divorce document but attention don't ask for this divorce document day one that is really really wrong you first need to get to know each other reach that stage when this guy tells you he loves you so much he wants to marry you and all that ask him about his divorce document i told you on the sites exist guys that are so good in fantasizing yeah <laughs> they are still married and they're fantasizing they have divorced from this cute african lady they got married they have kids you know <laughs> yeah it's all in their heads but in real sense they are still married so the divorce document number two video calls surprise this guy with a video call at night surprise this guy with a video call during the weekend surprise this guy with a video call during holidays yeah you will confirm if he is really divorced or not but with a quality guy i'm telling you he will be open he will send you that divorce document without even you asking for it he will be calling you these times that i'm telling you at night you know he's cool quiet not like on pressure running around and calling you no he will be settled at home he will take you around his house it's holiday he will call you on a video call might even introduce you to his family because has got nothing to hide he has moved on you know no longer with the ex that's a quality guy so with this recently there is a client of mine who came to me we started talking and told me was talking to a guy who is separated with the ex they've got a kid a very little kid they've been doing video calls this guy calls her updates her on everything and they have a case in the court whereby should be decided on the house they had <laughs> <laughs> so i listened to her story and i told her can you please surprise this guy with a video call because he's the one that always calls and most of the times he calls during the day so she tried to call but this guy never picked that video call he said the kid was sleeping never wanted to disturb the kid excuses <laughs> And after that day he comes back again to tell her that so he went to court and the court decided that lady will take everything so i was telling her my love i've lost everything i've got nothing i have to start from zero oh my god i'm a man with nothing <laughs> When she told me that i was like girl don't believe this guy it is possible he was already in that situation and was actually looking for a lady to talk to why is that all of a sudden he has lost everything so let's test him if it's true this guy has gone through that 
right now and is really a quality guy that was dating you for good good intentions he will pass this test so tell him to first take a break you know from your relationship fix his life get to see what he can do you will be here waiting for him so if he says it's okay my love it's true i need to fix my life that's really a genuine guy but if he keeps on telling you that no my love you know i want to stay with you no he is a liar because a guy who has lost everything through that divorce process can't even be thinking of building a relationship with another woman that's a confusion moment yeah we have to be realistic guys <laughs> So she sends him a message that I told her to send and guess what? This guy is like, you are my everything. No, I want to be with you. I still want you. I want us to continue. I'm like, girl, that guy is lying. He is a player. Just wanted a lady to talk to. Because in his situation now, it is clear he wants a lady to talk to and pass time. Because a guy who has lost everything, the house, is supposed to pay the ex, I don't know how much euros every month, because the ex does not work, then has a kid, had to support the kid. <laughs> he has to look for the apartment. That guy will never come to visit you now. <laughs> it will take years, you know, of sacrifices and everything, saving. But I'm sure this guy will never come to you so it ended like that we should be clever guys how to deal with these people especially when they start telling you oh i'm separated i'm going through this <laughs> let's trick them we will find out if they are really lying oh it's true because i've been in situation whereby yes guys have separated they're waiting for the divorce and eventually got the divorce and got married i know how they behaved on the other side i know these guys that tell lies i'm separated i'm waiting for my divorce and eventually they were just wasting your time they wanted just an online girlfriend to talk to sign number nine that will tell you if you are chatting to a quality guy a guy who wants to build a serious relationship with you when it comes to the introduction guys you will not have to force this guy to introduce you. You will not have to repeat so many times to be introduced. No, he will introduce you in most cases without even you asking. And even if you have to talk about it, about the introduction, he won't bring excuses and he will not promise you, I'm going to introduce you this time. And then it doesn't happen. No, he will introduce you. Because I've told you, a quality guy has nothing to hide from you. He is chatting with you and is sure wants to be with you if you have future plans with someone why should you start hiding that person from your loved ones i mean the family and friends so lastly guys that can tell you the guy you're chatting to on the dating app and sites is a quality guy is a good guy is when that guy keeps his words yeah sticks to his promises from the time you started talking even if they are very very small things that he promised to you you have seen him putting in actions because these two have to match the words have to match the actions when you see that in a guy that relationship will work he is a quality guy and he knows what he is doing but if you're chatting to a guy, he gives you lots of promises, but in the end, he even forgets that he promised you those things. Girl, no, don't get excited. <laughs> you are actually dating a bad guy and he might turn out to be a toxic guy. <laughs> Trust me. So guys, we all agree a guy who sticks to his promises is a good guy. He puts actions into it but we shouldn't forget a guy who also 
respect you, should respect your decision. When you say something to him, he should listen to you. He shouldn't act superior to you. He shouldn't act like, you know, you should listen to me. I should be the one to command everything because I am a man and I am a white man. Mm. When you hear that, dear sister from a guy, <laughs> no matter all these other signs that I have said, they are good signs of a good guy, but the guy doesn't respect you. He feels superior. He feels like he should control you. Run, run, dear sister. A quality guy should respect you, treat you with so much love, care, tenderness. Oh my God, and romance. <laughs> So friends, there are so many signs that can tell you you are chatting to a quality guy, but we have to end it here. The video has been really, really long. Thank you so much for watching till now. May God bless you for your love and your support. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. If you haven't watched my other videos, what are you waiting for? Please, please go watch that video. That will help you so much. You are going to learn a lot, a lot, a lot. Please, please don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. And remember to subscribe. Join the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.